another thumbs down. This is, is this the way you treat our neighbors and our neighborhoods? Frustrations flaring at City Hall after the council is forced to rescind vacation rental restrictions that took years to put together. The council put into that situation after Airbnb led a signature drive to overturn the new rules. 10 News reporter John Horn is live now at City Hall. And John, the city is now going back to the drawing board on this. That's right, but the mayor's office is now telling me that they're already working on a new compromise to finally solve the puzzle about how to regulate short-term vacation rentals in the city of San Diego. It's because the restrictions that the city council passed are now off the table because Airbnb got more than 60,000 signatures in a matter of weeks. This draconian ban went too far. Jeff McGurn and dozens of Airbnb hosts delivering that message loud and clear to the San Diego City Council, not just at the dais. I've been renting out my property for 22 years and never dream of breaking the law ever. But by the power of the pen, more than 60,000 people signed a petition to overturn the city's recently approved restrictions on vacation rentals. Earlier this year, the council adopted regulations that eliminated Airbnb type rentals on non-primary homes, essentially banning investors and those who own second homes and rely on the tourism income. If I were to rent long term right now, I'm not sure I would be able to keep the property. The council voting eight to one Monday to rescind the regulations four years in the making instead of sending them to voters. Councilwoman Barbara Bree vented frustration at Airbnb for pouring money into the signature drive. I'm disappointed that a corporation reportedly valued at $31 billion descended upon our city with its unlimited millions of dollars and use deceptive tactics to force us to where we are today. But those who supported getting short-term rentals out of neighborhoods say there's still a big problem. Greg Knight lives in Mission Beach and says just this morning, vacationers filled his trash can to the brim. We see a party going on. We still don't have contact information for all the vacation rental properties. So the only thing that we could do is call the police and hope that they show up. The city's ordinance would have created an enforcement unit to respond solely to vacation rental complaints. Councilwoman Bree tells me that the city can come back with a different ordinance, but that it would have to be substantially different, and that would involve advice from lawyers. Meanwhile, Airbnb calls today's vote an important step toward fair and effective regulations. Live from City Hall, John Horn, 10 News.